We are live. Farts. Old farts. Two old farts. Steve and Dave. Sometimes you find a diamond in the rough. Not this time, though. This is just rough. Two old farts. There is no better waste of time. Two guys. Two old guys. A lot of BS and more drivel than you can shake a stick at. Steve and Dave. God help us. God yeah. help us. Uh, yeah. You know, the last few shows that we had, um, ad, ad, the ad hoc, the show, which actually yeah. premiered a few Fridays ago for the for Hollywood, Hollywood Friday. Um, Hollywood Friday. Yeah. Adam on the Eve a few weeks ago, we talked about God. So apparently yeah. God seems to be a, a topic. And then I always say, which God? The Mesopotamia ones, the false ones that they did in, in yeah. you know six hundred and sixty. Well, you you'll, you'll be happy to know I've yeah. updated I updated some of the graphics because on the newer shows, it actually says God's help us, but that's more of a homage to you as opposed to the Thank singular. Because I mean, I mean, you know, God's Church of England for me, so I'm kind of like keeping him all to myself. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. So, you, you guys are so funny with your little church. That's cute. Yeah. Um, yeah. We all know. Let's just be you know, honest. Yeah. yeah. So Go I ahead. thought, well, I'll, I'll 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 spread the gods around a bit. So it's now God's help us, as it should um, be, because I know them should. and I and I play poker with them every Thursday, and we smoke cigars, yeah. drink scotch, and tell dirty jokes. It's a wonderful thing. It's a wonderful so, thing. Wonderful so thing. we're having a guest on today. That apparently you stalked again, and we have the restraining order on my desk. So yeah. would you like to tell us about this before we bring them on? And I guess they court. Well, I can, I can tell you as much as I know about uh, Arcona. I just like I know his name. Oh, but, well, that's um, great. And, 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 and that's right. on the guests you bring on. So. Yeah, well, you know me. I don't like to do the research, but, uh, but know. Yeah, full you disclosure. Know. Now, full full yeah. disclosure. We went to this um, community. I think it was community centre uh, uh, arts and crafts thing. Right. Uh, the village is about uh, five clicks from, from where we live here okay. in sunny Holland. And I was walking around, and it was sort of not really impressive. And then okay. I walked past what uh, what Arco was was doing there. Where you stand, and something said turn around and have another look and that's okay. what i did and i turned around and had another look and I mean, then of course he realized i was starting to stalk him at that point in time gotcha. and so he sure. engaged in conversation with me and um, and i said yeah it's a big mistake and i mistake, said well look sure. you know i i just, uh, I, I like it i really like the stuff that you're doing and right. um hey well you know would you like to come and tell uh, our global audience a little bit more about you and let's have a look at some of your art and he he's wow. very generously agreed to do both so wow. he's a Dutch, so, uh, Dutch are you gentleman. returning his family after the show is that how this works we return the family after he does the interview yeah i think so i think so yeah okay only just if checking they, I just only if they sure. pay the ransom only if they pay the okay ransom. okay just checking you know, just checking but, um, but basically yeah. what what it means in holland is when you return the family is that you actually give them back their bicycles that's the easiest thing to do, <laughs> just checking, right? Just checking. You know, just just to be sure. You know, just to be sure. Okay. But well, um, it's a, a young Dutch artist uh, called okay. Arco uh, Brownenberg. I'm sure he's it's going easy. to. Uh, good, yeah, correct it's easy us. for me to say. Easy for me. Yeah. He's going to correct me anyway, as most Dutch people right. do, because I'm because I'm sh one one t at names. Um, right. And so yeah, let's let's get Arco on and uh, find out a little bit a little bit about him. And there he is. How you doing? Hi. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we'll do that so we can see some of yeah. his art. So, yeah. there you go. So first of well, all, let's get the, the name right. The let's get the name yes. right, Arco. Let's... How do we well, pronounce Arco, your name? Uh, you said it right, and uh, the last yeah. name is Bruinenberg. Bruinenberg. There you go. Yeah. I can only say yeah, well, I can, you have it. <laughs> yeah, I can only say it afterwards, but if I, if I read it, it's like Brownenberg. So. Yeah. Wow. It's, yeah. it's not the most easy name uh, for uh, yeah. not Dutch-speaking uh, people. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Arco. Uh, are you a professional artist, or uh, how, do, how did you get this far? Uh, well, I'm uh, not uh, a schooled uh, artist, but I'm a passionate uh, artist. So, um, so self-taught. 
self-taught exactly and um, as a little kid uh, always drawing painting uh, I'm not that uh, school type with uh, numbers and uh, uh, grandma and all those kind of thing I was always drawing in my uh, school books um, and uh, now I still uh, doing that only not uh, in school books anymore um, yeah. So I'm always uh, mostly painting, um, acrylic, and uh, when I was younger, I was starting with flowers, more realistic uh, things, and nowadays I love to uh, make uh, ab uh, abstract uh, modern uh, work, and always uh, colorful. I'm a big uh, fan of colors and uh, uh, all through all the uh, house we have colors and then all my work uh, you can see that um, so that's a little bit about me and uh, what I make very cool yeah because I know you do use the stuff you sent me um, because I sent that to Annette as well she said oh did you send some of the portraits I said no which is just, just abstract today which is great because yeah. you know you, you come back when you come back and show us the other half of your portfolio all the artists yeah. are always welcome to come back. Uh, but you wanted to concentrate this time around, I think, a little bit on the, on your abstract work. Was any particular reason? Because I like the other stuff you were doing. That's that's really, firstly, what caught my eye. Yeah. So, so it, well, it was why hard to, Yeah, it was hard to choose uh, from uh, uh, the work that I make because it's quite di diverse. I, I do portraits. I do uh, more realistic things, but now uh, on this moment mostly abstract um, so it was uh, hard to choose uh, through all of that and um, so for now I had uh, chosen for the, the more uh, modern uh, artworks but yeah. I, I like to do it both uh, uh, yeah and mostly I, uh, when I um, show people my work I get a comment oh you are so uh, diverse in your work um, I said yes because I make what I like. <laughs> I'm not right. uh, always trying to stick to one style, but yeah, I, I like to make different things uh, as long as it's uh, with color. Now, do you do art full time or do you have like another gig? No, unfortunately not uh, full time. Hopefully okay. there will be a change in that. It's uh, of course uh, every uh, artist dream to uh, do it full time and uh, can pay the rent of it, <laughs> right, right. Uh, but I'm uh, working at a big Swedish company uh, for um, home accessories. Okay, we don't so uh, mention any names. IKEA. Um, yeah. So um, I love the meatballs. <laughs> so and yeah. so my other question then is: So do you have like a website? If someone sees something today and they want to purchase it, is there a website, yeah. or they just reach out to us and then we just give them your contact information? I have a website um, uh, on, uh, on this moment, and it's uh, art by Arco Bruinenberg. Sure uh, it is. So you expect people sure to go is. to that? Are you? Uh, are, what drugs were you on when you did this? Seriously, <laughs> I need to know. Were you guys? Did you guys go down to the hash store in Amsterdam and a little Toki Toki, and then you were? That's how you came up with this website. We'll put it down. We'll put the link <laughs> below. If I can, David will have to send it to me. And write it in English because I'm reading it on the bottom of the screen. And I'm like, just 937 letters in his website. I can't even do that. That's crazy. Yeah. So, yeah. but that's cool. Yeah, All well, right. So people can buy his there's, art. There's yeah. a lot. There's a lot of. Uh, I have a big percentage of, of Dutch people and Dutch businesses that have um, their own websites. So you have. You know, I can like, see. Oh, I'll call it this, and then like yeah. no, you know, call it this no. So. Um, <laughs> But it kind of says what it does on on the box. So. You think? Do you think that it's yeah. the art by this? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm I'm exhausted just reading it. The by Arco <laughs> and the whole thing. Dot nl. It's good that you have the dot nl because God forbid it's a dot com. But anyway, yeah. I think it's very cool. <laughs> let's, just, let's just look at his art because I can make fun of the website yeah. all day, but I want to look at his art because um the little bit that I've seen it is very beautiful. Oh, thank you. Okay. You're welcome. Okay, let's. Do you, uh, do you need help there, Dave? You're here. Let me help you out. Yeah, I think. You, I think. Yeah, you'll you'll have to lift it. I think put it on the screen. There you Ooh, go. Oh, then we put it. Oh, I cut it. You can read the web address on there as well, though. Oh, yeah. great! Another web address that's 14 hours long. <laughs> okay. So, crazy Dutch people. So, all right. So, so Arco, is this has this been a long journey for you then, or like you say, big off? Uh, 
Um, a long journey, I have to say. Last year, I was um, uh, in a depression, so that's uh, unfortunately not uh, the best situation to have uh, been in. But it was the moment that I rediscovered my creativity. And so from that point, I uh, was uh, painting uh, every day, every evening before I go to bed. So, um, the, the last two years, it was uh, a short year in a short period where I'm uh, uh, creative again. But before that period, I was also uh, painting, but not at that much on this uh, moment. I'm yeah. now taking it a little bit more seriously and uh, really want to try to uh, yeah, lift it up and uh, try to go, um, go full time uh, with this. Yeah. Uh, well, we're going to start now. You did actually send me uh, some of the Ooh, names. Yeah. I, 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 I had difficulty myself in in linking the. I think you translated them as well. As well. So um, yeah. But you, you know, please, please give them your your original Dutch title. They're fine. I mean, people can find them on the website as well. So we'll start with this one. Yes. Uh... I, I made uh, some notes in English, so I have to get them. Uh, otherwise, it, uh, it's a lot of uh, difficult uh, a story with a lot of G's and uh, those kind of stuff. <laughs> and uh, in case uh, b my name is already difficult, I want to keep it a little bit easier. Um, this one is... Uh, mo one moment. <laughs> of course... Everything you will be prepared is not um, uh, no, going okay. easily no, on the moment you want. It. I I, uh, I like this one. So let me ask you this: yeah. while you're while you're trying to figure out the English, and if listen, if you can't say it in English, don't worry about it. Our fans are global; yeah, they can't Dutch. speak they can't speak English or Dutch, so it's fine. Yeah. Um, so something like this: what's your art start at, and what's it like? Is it start at fifty euro and goes to whatever, or is like where's the starting point, and do you ship globally? Like, tell us about that as you tell us about this piece. Yeah, well, the the dark name I've, of this piece. Uh, yes, right. go ahead. Oh, sorry, okay. And uh, what's the size of this then? Let's let just give give us some idea. This one is seventy by ninety centimeters. Okay, okay. Yeah. And the Dutch name is Uit Balans, translated to English Out of Balance. Out of Balance, yeah. Um, and it's uh, made with acrylic and uh, oil uh, crayons. So I'm, I'm starting okay. with the background, uh, picking the colors uh, that that spoke to me on that moment, and just going, uh, not really with a plan, but just let the hands do the work. And um, the uh, the second part, that uh, the second phase of uh, my artworks is mostly the, the lines and the blocking that I uh, add to the artworks because the background is mostly uh, more rough, more uh, um, dynamic and uh, the lines and the, the blocking on the, on the background uh, create some contrast that I uh, really like. Um, and this background is really... Uh, really dynamic, and that gives me the feeling of out of balance. Uh, how do you find the balance? And that feeling, that thought, I have tried to uh, put on the canvas uh, here. Right. Yeah. And just to let everybody know, 70 by 90, because only Americans don't know what centimeters are, is 27 inches by 35 inches. So it's a nice. Thank you for the translation. <laughs> yeah, no worries. I, well, I always have... have to do that for the Americans. I, we have to dumb it down for the people in the U.S. Um, yeah. <laughs> my other question is: So, how much is this painting? If somebody says they love it and must have it, how much is it? That's uh, well, we're excluding the shipping, obviously. Let's, let's say that. Okay. Well, yeah. well shipping. I, uh, I haven't shipped uh, anything yet, <gasps> so I, the shipping costs. I, I, um, I'm not sure about. But uh, without the shipping, it was three hundred twenty euros. Okay. Okay. Well, that's that's very reasonable. That's a yeah, good price. Very good. Yeah. Very good. And yeah. I'm, I'm starting uh, artist, so I also my prices are starting in that, and I think it's also important to keep it accessible for everybody. Um, I think everybody has to be able to be uh, buy a piece of art and uh, not only the printed stuff that you can buy uh, for a 
example, IKEA. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and there's nothing wrong with that, but I think real art gives a real story. It's more personal uh, and unique. So I, I hope yeah. that with not uh, too high prices, I can keep it accessible for everybody. Very cool. Well, you're, pre you're, you're preaching nice. to the converted here, that's for sure. So <laughs> Steven's, a big, Steven's a big collector, and um, you know we we pick, we pick up bits and pieces as and when we can. This side, so we'll go to uh, the next one, which is a completely different palette. But um, yeah, yeah, this is um, uh, the, the name uh, is uh, on a rainy day, on the first rainy day. Uh, yeah. So it gives also the feeling of the moments that I. Um, I was making this uh, art piece because it was a rainy day, the first rainy day in a long time. And um, the, the lights, uh, when you look outside uh, and there's no sun, it's raining, the, the light is so different. It's, it's uh, just all the colors you see. And um, that was also my meaning with just the colors uh, on, the, um, on this artwork. Uh, I started with the background uh with a little uh, a lot of different textures in it and after that i use tape to tape it off and uh creating uh, again the, the lining and the blocking and um just have fun with uh, the rest of the paint yeah yeah Very i mean nice. it's, I an, like it. it's an it's an extra window in your room isn't it it's um uh, but, um, yeah, yeah, it's you, you can see like a window and um, and also the, the in the blocking you can see the movement of the brushes uh, I use and the movement is the thing that I uh, really uh, really like um, yeah. that you can see the really the paints the the the, the, the brushes uh, on the on the artwork. Yeah, we have to encourage you, Arco, that when 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 we look at these, then you give us a size as well. Um, so it gives the people because uh, people are just looking at this on their TVs or on the laptops or sometimes yeah. on the telephone. So it's an yeah. idea, and yeah. also also a guesstimate, of course, uh, of uh, what sort of what sort of your prices you're, that you're asking. Well, this uh, piece is sixty by eighty centimeters. Sorry yeah. again for the centimeters. No, I'm no, not so good in inches. So it's it's, tw it's basically twenty three inches by thirty one inches. Okay. Yeah. You're doing that quick. I can hear that you do that before. Uh, before. He's like, yeah, well, he does say Steve, Steve is an avid collector, so he's probably got, already got it in his database somewhere. Mm -hmm. And uh, this piece is uh, 280 euros. Okay. Like 300 US. That's not bad. Yeah. Very nice. No, yeah. no. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, wow. Well, so it looks so same window different day or, or where's it yeah yeah you, you can yeah yeah you can see that uh, um I, this painting calls trust and it's mm -hmm. uh, especially about the process when i was painting this one i was trying to achieve the same effect as the previous one but during the process it was not going as i wished of course uh, many artists has an idea and it's always uh, can happen that it's not fits uh, on the uh, on the canvas as you have in your mind. Um, but I was saying to myself, okay, trust the process, just going, um, trust your talent. And then um, I created this piece and I was quite happy with it. So I thought this piece should named trust because it's the, the process was about trust. Um, the size of this piece is also 60 by 80. And the price is uh, also uh, 280 euros. And it's more the, the more colorful uh, uh, one as the previous yeah. one. Well, as I say, everybody looks at it in, in a different way. I mean, when I looked at the other one, I immediately saw a window. <clears throat> and, and then, of course, when it, you get this one up next, you think, oh, it's another window. So it'd be interesting to have them next to each other. Um, yeah. You know, it Because uh, that would just, yeah. That would be very cool. That's yeah. a good thought, David. Look at you coming up with a good thought. There you go. Yeah, I know. I know. Well, I had those good thought pills this morning, you know, as opposed to the, gotcha. as opposed to the, the normal ones the nurse gives me. So the nurse gave so, you a sponge bath, did she? Okay. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, you know, th th things were looking up this morning. But um, that's another story. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Off we go. 
So yeah. To, uh... Oh, very pretty. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is a painting from uh, a series of paintings that, uh, where I made more of them. It's uh, the series called Structure because okay. um, I'm working with a lot of layers of uh, acrylic paint on this and uh, like yeah. a lino, uh, lino uh, roller. Um, so when I use the, I, I don't use brushes on this uh, because uh, you're they, putting it on with a putting it on with a palette and a palette knife. No, not with a knife. Just um, uh, uh, yeah, skipping the the the, the paint from directly from the tubes on the on the canvas, and I use uh, yeah. those kind of things. A roller, okay. Just okay. roll it out uh, because then you are pulling the the paint upwards. Yeah. And you get a really structure effect uh, on it. And I, of course, the blocking is coming uh, back again because I like the, the, the almost pixel kind of uh, um, composition uh, you get. Um, and and this the, light, is, uh, the, light, the light infall, is that from just when you, when you because this is like a, almost like a white spot in the middle, is it just how you photographed or is there is it? No, no, it's, it's uh, it, on the, it on the same been, thing. Uh, yeah. Painting. Okay. Yeah, it's. Um, I started with uh, a, a red and white as the, uh, on the background, and then another layer, another layer, and putting all these colors uh, until I'm uh, satisfied with uh, with this piece. Yeah. So this kind of paintings, I'm not always having an idea. I sometimes I see a picture that can inspire me, or sometimes a combination of colors, and then then just starting. And create. Okay. Again, standard size again for you. Was it eighty by sixty? This one. No, no. This one is a little bit bigger. This one is um, uh, seventy by ninety centimeters. Yeah. Oh, so it's twenty-seven um, by thirty-five, like the other one. Okay. Yeah. 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 And um, the the name of this painting is uh, in Dutch. We call it uh, Keerpunt, uh, but translation to yeah. English. It's turning, turning point. Turning yeah. point. Yeah. Yeah. I had some care for this one. morning. It was delicious. I had it with a little oatmeal. It was uh, over my yeah, bowl. Oh, it was a beauty. Yeah. You, 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 yeah, yeah. You can't get good uh, that. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, the, the the name of the you should painting, put it, you should put it on toast. Keep it on toast. That's that's the way. Can the I tell you? Yeah, it's a yeah. Dutch uh, specialty. Uh. <laughs> it's a Dutch specialty. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, like Nutella, yeah. apparently. So yeah. that's right. Leave it. Leave it to the Brit and the Yank to literally just take a whole civilization and just destroy it. So, um, yeah. Arco, you have, well, you it have is that, a, you have, Stephen. You have, it is a nation that that indulges yeah. itself in the in the morning with chocolate yeah. sprinkles. Um, Hagelslag. What? Hagelslag. Yeah. Hagelslag. Why? Which, which why? Means, um, uh hailstorm i think it, it, it translated so it's like 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 these little uh, uh sprinkles but sprinkles. chocolate sprinkles yeah yeah and with that they have that on bread and and and, and uh, yeah. crackers and uh, biscuits. On, a, on a soft white bun with butter yeah. okay delicious no i mean it sounds delicious but is that because you guys are too busy you know Dip it into the hashish over there, and you just stand no, up no. and you're hungry in the morning. Or what's no, the no, 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 no. But that they, there, there is a handy opening on the packets for those that need it. So it's yeah. just sort of, you know, for this sort of work. But... <laughs> oh my god! Okay. <laughs> well, that'll get that'll get us. But you know, you know, hashtag that will work. But there you go. That will work. Um, there you go. I'm, we're about to be really sued by the, uh, by the Dutch for government. A quick breakfast. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, it's, now this piece is beautiful. It pops. Oh, this is oh, very sorry. nice too. I like it. I like the colors. You know, that's I. I like pieces that pop, and your art yeah. pops, which is beauty. Yeah. Thanks, thanks. And I, I think what helps in this piece is the the contrast uh, between light and dark that makes the right. makes it more uh, stand out. Um, this is also from uh, the the, the series uh, structure, uh, the same technique, only okay. another inspiration. Uh, this is inspired by Sunset by Sea, um, where I live in a small village called Geervliet. 
There, there we is. go again. <laughs> uh, it's uh, nearby uh, uh, the beach. Uh, it's just uh, with the bus, uh, 20 minutes to the beach. So uh, I really like to go there. And the um, uh, beach uh, place has a special place in my heart. So, um, yeah, it, it was definitely, uh, there must be a painting with inspiration with that. Yeah. This Very is the, nice. the one. My first impression, actually, is I wondered if it was the industry that you were looking at. Yeah. You know, with all, yeah. the, all the lights at the back. Where yeah. Because we see them as well in the evenings when you go out that way. It, you know, yeah. The wonderful thing, about, wonderful thing about petroleum, well, this petroleum industry around where we're living here, this part of Holland, is that at night it looks like, you know, eternal Christmas, and during the day it looks like Armageddon. So it's... Yes. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's, yeah, it's uh, friends of my colored Las Vegas by night. Uh, yeah, yeah, very cute. Uh, most definitely, most definitely. But it, it, again, this is a wonderful, um, you know, just uh, because I, I found myself, it's a, there's a really, again, a very really bright spot right in the middle, which I might find myself being drawn into. So, um, that, yeah, that's really yeah, and also, the, 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 there are some red spots, and that's because. Uh, when I used uh, the roller, uh, it really uh, pull up the paint and it uh, replaces yeah. it. So it's just, uh, you, you get the colors on such many different places. And when you look at close, uh, there are so many details uh, on the painting. Uh, so it's a nice uh, technique to uh, to try and uh, discover what the colors will do uh, with each other. Yeah. Right. So it was me trying to change the screen. That's why it all went a bit, uh, a bit uh, Pete Tong on everybody. And listen, but, um, you did a great job, Dave. We're very proud of you. So yes, yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. That's that's why I'm not directing these shows. But um, yeah. <laughs> so so again, size, price wise. This one is uh, the, the name is uh, Avondrood uh, yeah. in English, uh, Evening Red. Yeah. Uh, the size is 60 by 80 and 380 euros. Yeah. So again, it's like yeah, 25 it's by 30. So that's not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, nice, yeah because nice it's always the thing, you know, in English, you say red sky at night is shepherd's delight. And with red sky in the morning is shepherd's warning. I mean, they're, they're, the Dutch have the same sort of statement. So again, that's that. But yeah. So maybe, I, maybe I have a very apocalyptic uh, view on, on, on the area where we live in because I look very much to me as if the whole thing was on fire. But there you go. That's just me. Well, you're in from you're from in my side of the village, I don't have the view on the industry. So I'm the good, I'm the good side of the village. <laughs> yeah, I guess. I'm the good side of the village. Nice. Yeah. So wait, if you're in China and you say like red sky, that is a whole different connotation, though, doesn't it? Really? Yeah. I'm just saying. Yeah. Okay. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah. Okay. So. Yeah. It's, it, but, but the wonderful thing about art is that it, it, it means so many things to so many, so many yeah. different things to I, so many. And you know what's really people. interesting with this piece? You could actually turn it upside down, like a 180, and yeah. it would give you a different look and a different meaning altogether. Yeah. That's why yeah. I like it because it's very simple. Well, it would be it would actually, be it would be an Australian sunset then, wouldn't it? It would be an Australian sunset, but you, could number. Make, you, could, you can make it. You can make it landscape as well. You can make it. Um, yeah. You could do it a horizon, yeah. and it would just be beautiful. It would be well. interesting, it's wouldn't just, it? Because I think yeah. if you, if you, uh, oh, sorry, to interrupt you, Steve, but I think if you was, if this got delivered to you in a, in a mm -hmm. gallery or in your home, somebody gave it to you as a gift, then and you would just think, oh well, and you put it on your wall. It works in every direction. Yes, it, it does. It doesn't yeah. have to be what I go. <clears throat> It Made depends it. what you want. It depends what you want to showcase. This way, you're showcasing, if you will, the light. If you turn it the yeah. other way, you're showcasing more the darkness. If depending on your interior, if you do it yeah. um, the the long the, the horizon way, right. it would just it would just be interesting because you're showcasing kind of everything, almost like a rainbow. Um, and yeah. you know, when you look at the top of it, you see the different colors and how they break. So, no, it's a very fascinating piece. That I think you can hang it many different ways. Yeah, I think that's also the the, the nice part, uh, thing about abstract modern art that you, when you purchase uh, an art piece from that style, you can also make your own personal uh, translation how you see this art piece, and I think that yeah. is also uh, interesting uh, uh, with uh, this style of art. Yeah, yeah, I agree. Definitely. But that, that, that's what I okay, this what this what it's. The more you look at it, the more fascinated I am by that one. Yeah. There you go. 
Oh, this is nice. Looks, Look at this. Yeah. This looks very yeah. Asian, though. This to me looks like Asian rice paper painting. Oh, wow. Because of the structure, I guess. Yes. Yeah, I can imagine. When you see the Asian paper, it's also with a lot of texture. And uh, you see that also on the, on the background. This uh, art piece is inspired by my uh, mother. Uh, okay. She's a really warm and kind uh, person, uh, always positive. Everybody is welcome. And she loves the colors red, yellow, orange, okay. pink. Um, but I also get that feeling by those kind of colors. So I was painting this one um, with my mother and the feeling that I get from her, uh, how she mm. takes care of me. Um, I want to try that fit in one painting, and uh, this is uh, the result of it. So the, the name okay. is uh, Warm Heart. Of course. Heart, yeah. um, of course, yeah. uh, the explanation uh, clears it already. Uh, why the, the name yeah, is no, uh, like that? And, and while, while we're talking about what we think abs this particular abstract painting looks like, I suppose, for me then, that the that white line is as symbol as the strength of your your love for your mother, which goes all the way through the painting. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a, a nice yeah. symbolization. Uh, I'll, go, well, we'll, I'll, write a com I'll write a comment, you know, uh, you know, a review on that somewhere along the line. <laughs> yeah, but again, Thanks. good again, psych notes. It's, 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 whatever, it's whatever you want it to be, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but, but uh, okay. The, the, my question is: is the is the is the orange fighting the pink, or is the pink fighting back towards the orange? Maybe they're not fighting, but working together. Okay. Oh, there you go. It's yeah. it's, it's just how you how you interpret it. The the, the t title of the the artwork is warm heart, but it's all of course what you see in it also um uh is she are you seeing a fight is it maybe a, a love thing that you can see um when i'm painting this kind of work is I, i'm always starting with the background with a lot of dots of paint and just let me brush through the work and um always find a place where they can uh, blend with each other, where, where the colors find each other and maybe can strengthen each other. Um, and that are also the locations on the painting where I place the, the, the small cubes and uh, the, the blocking uh, parts. Um, so, uh, yeah, it's just an, uh, th th this kind of artwork is always going in different phases. Here's, first, I started with uh, the background and it's uh, like a dance almost. Uh, I take yeah. uh, a lot of time of that. And when it's finished, I will sit in front of it and let it all working uh, to me and just see where what is the right place to uh, adjust uh, the, the lining and the blood and the, the small cubes. Yeah. And, and so, excuse me, size wise and, and, and price. The size of this uh, piece is 40 by 80 centimeters. And so it's, uh, 50, it's 15 inches by what you might call it, by 31 inches, just for the people yeah. that don't know centimeters. There you go. And the uh, price will be 240 euros. Yeah. That's a nice piece of, for, 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 let's say, for a forgotten forgotten corner in the house or a difficult corner in yeah. the house. We can't, we can't quite find anything to put in with an absolute splash of color. Yeah, especially because it's small, but it's uh, yeah. it's, it's a, it's a it's long uh, yeah. piece. Uh, for example, uh, at stairs, uh, that you, um, when you go up, upstairs, uh, you always have that kind of spot that, that you were thinking, what, have to, what do I do there on this uh, kind of locations? And this can be a really nice artwork uh, to uh, bright it up a little bit. Yeah. Okay. okay. Let's let's look on. Oh, this is oh, another one that really, this. Re it this really is cool. pops. This one. Yeah. Yeah. This is uh, one of my uh, latest artworks, and um, the name of it is Joy. Uh, in Dutch, uh, we say Vreugde. And um, the name is because it's the feeling that it's giving me. I was working on this, uh, starting with uh, a few colors that I really like to each other. And I will think, okay, I want to do something with this uh, color combination. I just put it on the canvas and 
try to uh, yeah find the connection between them and uh, only with already with the background I was so uh, happy with it uh, that I uh, thought this has to be joy because this is the f I hope uh, I also hope that uh, other people will get that feeling if they see this work um, yeah that's what I hope for of course <laughs> there will always uh, be the question uh, but I think um, yeah, it's uh, it's I all uh, I'm also using like metallic paint. So when um, the sun is uh, shining on it, you see some details were popping up. Yeah, and are are, cool. are are all your artworks already framed? No, no, not yet. Because okay. yeah, it's an option. I uh, this uh, I uh, you uh, I framed it on the computer. Uh, yeah. Okay. But well, that makes it easy to ship then. So you got to. Yeah. So for people internationally, since this frame is fake, so to speak, that means if you're going to ship it, all you need to do is just roll it up, put it in a tube. So shipping's going to cost nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Very good. And, uh, yeah. and, and also, then you can get a frame where you live. Nice. Yeah, and you can choose something what you like. I, I, I right. have to think about it. Uh, if I should frame all the artworks, but. I had a lot of different discussions about it, and uh, and I know by myself that if I have an artwork, I'm quite specific what kind of frame I want with that, uh, yeah. because I want to fit it with my uh, interior. I want to fit it on the. Uh, to have to find a connection with other artworks uh, and those right. kind of topics. Yeah. Um, the, so the reason why I asked is because I the, uh, I mean they all look very similar, and I I, I thought to myself, oh, he's probably. You know, did this for the presentation, which is great. You know, we're, that's what we're discussing here, so people know. And then Stephen's quite correct in what he said about shipping. But for some reason or another, this particular color of this frame really works. It really seems to lift it straight off the wall. So, but, yeah. maybe also because of uh, the a little golden frame uh, in the in the blue parts on the left side. That it's yeah. uh, find a connection with each other, that it will strengthen uh, each other. But I, I totally agree. This uh, I hope that when someone buy this artwork, they will use uh, this kind of frame. Uh, uh, but of course, it's also uh, an opportunity to make your own personal decision and mm -hmm. give it a personal touch on the, the artwork you buy. And and the size again and the, and the price. The size of this one is let me check sixty by ninety centimeters. Yep. Okay, so the same thing about twenty one by thirty five inches. And the price of this one is three hundred euros. That's because okay, there's two right. white lines in it, David. We had to charge. Yeah. yeah, yeah, indeed. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The two white lines. <laughs> I needed extra tape for this one, so uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, charge more for the tape. <laughs> sort of Tape's expensive well, over good. there because that's what the dikes used to put their fingers in the other dikes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the water from going out. I read that in a book. Yeah. Well, it, you know, everything's gone up in price, so yeah, why not? You know. So. There you go. Okay, so this is the penultimate now. So this again, oh, again, the same. Yeah. This is um, this piece is a little bit smaller, and um, this size is fifty by seventy centimeters. Um, it calls samen smelting, so uh, like merging. Yeah, uh, yeah, mel melting or merging. Yeah. Yeah. The merge, yeah, melting, maybe better uh, yeah. uh, translation for this. Um, and it is about. Um, I find inspiration in nature. Uh, you can see that uh, when the um, uh, yellow part and the blue part will merge or melting uh, with each other, uh, you get green, of course. And uh, that's also something you see in nature and also what I want to show on this painting. Um, I think that because of those colors are connecting with each other, a, a family, um, they will blend really nice uh, into each other. So you have this, so it is abstract, but it seems to be lots of um, 
free flowing, I think, in, in your in your color palette and then to the experimentation. And then for want of a very primitive word, it gets boxed in by all these very straight yeah. uh, lines. So, so what's, where's the inspiration for, for that coming from? I think I like to um, create contrast. I like to um, get a little bit rebellious on that uh, because <laughs> you will say it's a really nice soft uh, movement in the in the background where you don't keep it like that. But that's not really who I am. I I like mm -hmm. to shake it up a little bit, and I think those kind of uh, cubes and the, and the frames and the 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 white lines that can is a part of that of and also the the colors of the cubes are the colors that i use in the background so it's almost like you take it back from the background put it forwards and you see wh where it's starting uh, this process right yeah so it's just yeah it's just a little bit uh philosophy uh kind yeah, no, of i way, mean there's there's, there's, there's no right and there's no wrong to it it's just uh you know a, a, the wonderful thing i think about art is that it it, it well, hopefully it forces people to think and it forces people to communicate and say well right. you know oh why is that why is this happening why is that happening um yeah i i hope yeah. so i i hope that for the one person that sees an artwork work like this will say, oh, I like the colors and that's enough. And the other one will think, what is the meaning of this? And why is yeah. he using right. this? And everybody can think about it uh, on their own level, in their own way. Um, yeah, I hope, of course. <laughs> no, it's beautiful, well, it's, beautiful, beautiful it's, stuff. It's anything but vanilla. So um, right, right. And that's, what we, that, that's what we love. So. Except for the chocolate sprinkles that you put on things in the morning. That's kind of, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, that's, that's, that's the one thing that the, a lot of visitors always, uh, always comment on. And of course, you know, and all the pothead pixies that come here for a interesting uh, weekend, uh, they discover right. that as well and think they've died and gone to heaven, I think. So oh, um, this is the, we're getting there. <gasps> Really, this is one of yeah. The, I, uh, I really like this one. I must that that that's, yeah. uh, I stopped. I stopped and came back and had a look at it. And yeah, so where's this taking us? This is my uh, latest uh, artwork and uh, also one of my favorites. Um, with this background, I was going a little bit further, trying to evolve my uh, technique uh, on the background um creating more softness in it um and especially with the light and dark part you get uh, more depth um it's uh, called um in, in dutch herijzend um and i was searching for the right Horizon. translation Horizon. but david you have sorry Horizon. yeah it means like coming back to something is that right is that yeah right? exactly when I searched for the, the translation, uh, they said resurgence. Resurgent, mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's, it almost uh, looks like a space, like something in space exploded. That's so I look yeah. at this as something out in outer space, almost like I don't believe in the Big Bang, but this would be like, to me, the Big Bang, the Milky Way, a black hole, the whole the yeah. whole shebang, a, a, dwarf, a dwarf star or a supernova. That's what this looks like to me. Yeah. It's very beautiful. I hope so. It looks like this. Yeah. That's uh, should be uh, should be a nice uh, view. I uh, I hope. And my partner says the same thing about uh, the interpretation. He said, "Oh, it's uh, like a galaxy," and I yeah. was thinking, "Yes, yeah, maybe also the, the the meaning for me behind it was more like a freening phoenix uh, rising from the ashes. Uh, that okay. kind of vibe." Um, yeah. yeah, you find it, it your way and stop, stand would, up again. Yeah, it would make I'm, also I'm, make going a great, the, I'm going with the supernova. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> it, it, it would make a great movie po poster for Oppenheimer or something, wouldn't it? You know, because it has yeah. that. That's uh, now, now the yeah, price uh, just went up, David. I hope you're happy. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> well, they, they can call me for part two, so uh, they I'm, okay, I'm really uh, happy to. <laughs> to yeah. <be> <laughs> 
Yeah, like like Titanic Part Two. Well, you know the sequel. Yeah. But um, yeah, the, <laughs> si the ship still sinks. <laughs> but uh, yeah, again, there's something. I don't, Steve, I think you hit the nail on the head. There's something either very cosmic about it, or or, or something very chemical, as if something's yeah. been dropped into something and it's just flowing out. And again, you want to just to not to make it like oh that's what it is by putting those in, in infuriating but perhaps truly beautiful lines and boxes in it because that's for me that that's that's you that is so that so much holds it together but they shouldn't yeah. be there and that's the great thing about it <laughs> yeah yeah uh this morning i had a discussion with uh, a potential buyer for this artwork and she said uh wasn't you afraid to put those lines uh, on the painting? Because you have like a, a background you re are really happy uh, with. What are you gonna? Why are you gonna take the risk to ruin it? But that's, yeah. I guess, also a part of me that wants to try take a step further, a step further. Yeah. Um, and also, I I think. When you framed it, 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 it uh, directs your eyes to the different sides of the painting, right. and well, it um, also depends how you frame it too. You know, yeah. if you're gonna, if what the frame, what the background would be, like how you mat it would be, that'll make different things pop. But for me, I look, I'm more fascinated with the boxes that are there, the rectangles that are in the painting. Yeah. So to me, it's just that's why it has that out, out of, outer world feel to it. And then if you were gonna mat this um and if you want something to pop I, you can have a blue mat or, or a red mat or whatever so whatever you mat it with will make that more even pop more and if you want to bring out the yeah. darkness in it you can do like a nice bluish um mat and then that would pop so i'm just saying the matting of this will be most important um when they frame it yeah 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 i, I totally agree yes yeah, yeah. Wow. So, yeah, who knew? Yeah, that's, uh, who knew? And um, but before the lady buys it, or if she doesn't buy it, uh, who who else is going to buy it? And what are they going to pay for it? And what's the size of it? Uh, the size of this uh, painting is 80 by 100 centimeters. So this is uh, okay. one of the bur a bigger big works. Yeah. And the price of it is 360 euros. So oh, it's wow. 31 by 40 for everybody in the United States. Um, yeah, and 360, so it's about 400 dollars US. Yeah, okay, no less. I think so far, this is my favorite. So, if, yeah, if, if, when let, let us know if the lady buys it because if not, we can just send <laughs> Nunzio and Rocco to her house and threaten her, and she won't buy it. I mean, no, no, she'll um, she'll make a good deal. So, so. Okay, yeah, that's a beautiful, so, uh, that's a beautiful that, piece. That's a beautiful piece. Yeah. Thank you. I, th Thank you. I, I think people should rightfully fight for that one. I agree. I Except hope, I hope. Buy it. They should just give <laughs> it for, they shouldn't fight. They should just acquiesce immediately. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is uh, another big boy. Um, right. It calls uh, in Dutch, uh, Afstand, uh, translate to English, uh, Distance. Distance. Yeah. And uh, the size is uh, 80 by 100. Same thing. And, yeah, same, uh, same yeah. size, uh, same price. Uh, also okay. 360 euros. And um, of, you see already in the colors, uh, it's more cooler kind of uh, tones with a lot of blue and greenish uh, into it. I use also silver. On the picture, you'd not see it's really uh, good, but it get, reflects on the, some parts. That, uh, that so in on the day you your painting will change a little bit because of the light. Uh, um, yeah. The the risk and uh, cool. yeah, that, I think that the colors gives also a little bit the feeling of distance, searching for it. Maybe you have to find distance and things. So it's free to uh to find your own meaning in this uh kind of piece yeah right. that's actually very beautiful very beautiful so. yeah <clears throat> but you know i mean the, the color palette on the last one is just is, is just yeah the last one is my favorite and my <laughs> exactly second so. favorite is the chinese rice paper 
stuff. Yes. <laughs> Maybe it, uh, it was to be uh, meant for the last one in the slide so that we can build it up a little bit. Yeah. There you yeah. go. <laughs> but but somebody who has a, an interior with these sort of color palette, this would make a hell of a difference to a room. You know, it's. Uh, yeah. I hope. Yeah. I hope that uh, I, I can imagine that if you are a, a fan of uh, uh, blue is your favorite color. Uh, this can really pops up in an, uh, in an, in a white space or with uh, other green or blue tones uh, in the interior. Um, yeah. yeah, I, I hopefully uh, people will uh, appreciate it and will also find the, the, the feeling of the, the movement in the backgrounds. Yeah. yeah, it's beautiful. Uh, hey, there you are again with that crazy yeah, cock again. the name that no one can ever pronounce in the <laughs> website that's going to take 16 people to figure out. Okay, so yeah. we'll, well, we'll watch you call. see uh, we'll this that. picture, you see me working on the background. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And this is uh, the starting point of the first painting we have seen. Oh, wow. Yeah. Very cool. So then you can see uh, how it started. Yeah. Very cool. Right, yeah, David, don't thought, and, let, let, David, and, let, let the director direct it. Don't touch buttons. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, this this is the one I ripped from your website anyway. This this uh, this thing. But uh, yeah, and again no, behind you, you can see the things that uh, the first things yeah. that I saw when I walked past were the portraits. Wow. Yeah. No, your stuff yeah, but, is you know, yeah. Well, uh, are they, this uh, they, those kind of portraits? I guess. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. Can we have a look? Just have a look at that one. Just the one with with again. You, not the one next to one with the frame going over the head. Uh, is it this one? This one, yeah, yeah, because that's that's the one that caught. That's the one that made me turn around and come back. That is because gorgeous, it, my friend. Yeah, because it that is, is so it is so right that it's wrong. Yeah, that's a nice painting. Yeah, tell us the story this, behind um, that. One. This is a, a series of paintings that um, called "Woman of the World." It's uh, inspired okay. by uh, traditional uh, clothes uh, of different cultures. And okay. it was in a period that I really want to try more realistic kind of paintings, uh, okay. just to see, can I do that? Do I like it to do it? Uh, it takes, uh, yeah, of course, a little bit of more work because I'm uh, used to uh, work with bigger um, statements. And right. uh, here it's all about uh, the smaller details, but it yeah. was really fun to do. I'm still uh, have to do one Dutch girl because okay. uh, I uh, I've done a Dutch girl. It's no big deal. Like if you, if, yeah, I've done a Dutch girl. You're good. Oh no, no, I'm sorry. You're talking about painting. Sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> so. <laughs> I have to paint a dark. Okay, person. okay, okay. Now I understand. Okay, actually, uh, <laughs> that's all right. You can. We'll, we'll edit that bit out. No. <laughs> no, we won't. <laughs> but your artwork, my friend, uh, absolutely gorgeous. Um, he reminds me of Rusty on the way. Like at some point, yeah. you won't be yeah. able to afford his stuff. So yeah, yeah. we're going to say what we do. We have we have a, a regular artist uh, who's a, a Filipino living in in Antwerp uh, called Rusty, um, and we we shout out every show we do. Guys, buy this stuff now. Wake up, smell the coffee. Buy the stuff now because two, three years time, you'll be paying. You'll have to get a large checkboard out and put lots of telephone numbers out because you're going to go crazy. Yeah, and yours is the same. Yeah. And yours is hope, the same. Yours... Hope, uh, let's see, and uh, maybe we have to do a, a nice uh, recap after the the succession uh, of that. Well, uh, we can yeah. listen whenever you want to come back. You let David know, and we will have you yeah. on, and you can always show your new work. And maybe we'll yeah. change this for Cock the website name too. So it'll be easy for people to, like, you know, whatchamacallit, find you. Um, but no, seriously, maybe if you need to come back and show stuff first. <laughs> yeah, you can just put an extra, like, a couple of extra arts and a couple of extra names and, you know, a couple of more NLs or something. But yeah, yeah. It's, make it a little bit longer. Actually beautiful. If you can make it longer, I'm thinking go for the world record where it's like 930 characters and it'll be like yeah. <laughs> like that. It'll be awesome. But no, your your stuff is wonderful, um, and reasonably priced. And since it's none of it's framed, no matter where you are on the planet, you can just literally send it in a tube. So you're maybe anywhere from 35 to 100 euro to get it shipped. 
to somebody and then framing will cost probably just as much as the piece. So for under a thousand, say US or a thousand euro, you'll have a gorgeous piece of art. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. So, it's it's yeah. really, uh, really nice and kind words. And uh, I don't know what to say. It's uh, It was also a pleasure for me to win the show. It was for me the first time in, uh, at front. I was a little bit nervous because English is not my first language, of course. It's not mine uh, either. So oh, wait, it is mine. I, I still screw it up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You did good. Well, my you, friend, you guys you did really wonderful. helped me through it. So yeah. thank you, well, thank you. Uh, for, uh, so much for that. And yeah, and uh, if people if people are struggling, whatever, they can get in touch with us, and we'll we'll, uh, we'll put you through. We'll hook them up. Uh, we'll hook you up. Hook you up with, as they say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, don't forget Thanks, everybody sir. to subscribe to subscribe and like. Um, and Two Old Farts Classic is not on a set routine. We just whatever we've got the other shows that are on their own schedule. You can get real. You can see any show you'd like. Um, go to the playlist. Um, and this will air. Um, today. Actually, it's the Hollywood today. Not really. It's not um, Hollywood today. And it won't be a podcast. It'll just be on YouTube because the, the podcast won't do the artwork justice. But you can subscribe and like. If you need to get a hold of Arco and you can't figure out his website because there's 937 characters, get a hold of us. We'll put you in touch with him. And if that lady doesn't buy the uh, the galaxy painting, um, we'll let you guys know if you want to purchase that from him as well. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah, so um, we're going to run the, the end credits. Arco, thank you so much for being with us. Thank Stay you. on after the credits are run because we always do a little bit of housekeeping after we've done that. But, uh, Stephen, thank you very much for your time. Thank you, Arco, thank you. for uh, yeah for accepting uh, my invitation because um, I literally it was door a pleasure. Thanks. A door and now the restraining oh. order kicks in. And now the restraining <laughs> order kicks in. It's yeah. very exciting. <laughs> yeah. Thank God. Yeah. All right, kids. See you all later. Thank all you, right. bye. Yes.